I mean, I'll preface this by saying, you know, I started this job in the middle of the pandemic and we've been virtual all year. So, so I, I can't honestly tell you that I know our students because I haven't had more than a couple of interactions with them. And then, you know, of course, we've all been masked. I've sat in on Zoom classes and everything, but it's not the same. Um, that said, I mean, there's been a couple of experiences that really stand out to me in terms of the kind of impact that we have. I remember one of them was last year, September, just after I started, actually, just days after I started, we had um, some girls come into school. We had three girls who started last year who were 11 years old and they came from different countries. One of them was, well, there was a set of twins and then there was another girl from, from a different country, Southeast Asia. And they had never been in school before and didn't read or write English. So we had to start, I mean, not even basic letter recognition. So we had to start from a very, very kind of low baseline. Um, and I didn't know how our newcomer teacher was going to do it. I was like, how do you, how do you teach <laughs> girls to um, learn from, from that point of view? But it was remarkable because in December we had a, a staff meeting and I remember our newcomer teacher saying, our newcomer students, a class of I think 15 last year, had just read their first full book on their own. And you know, for, to, for anybody <laughs> to make that kind of a leap educationally in any language, you know, let alone English, which is, a, which is a particularly difficult language, was just astonishing to me and so inspiring. Um, and that, you know, was one of the ways that I understood or was reminded of why I came to GBP, because that was, in my mind, nothing short of miraculous, really. Um, that girls, that our students would make that much progress and that the commitment of our teachers and our staff and the entire ecosystem that makes the school possible could, could really, you know, make that manifest itself in the way that it did. I, I was really moved by that. So that was one of the things that um, I remember as a, as a story, as a GBP story uh, that, that's inspiring. But on the other hand, I just told the story of the girl who, who had to return home. And um, had tried to, you know, get a foothold of their American dream, and, and you know, of course the pandemic so, broke up. The jobs, you know, they faced God knows what what difficulties, and made a decision. And I just that has stayed with me because I can't imagine having to make the decision to return to a country from which you once fled. Um, and that was a sobering reminder for me that. The families of the students that we work with have experienced so much. Our students, most of them come from a background of having experienced trauma and displacement. You know, many of them have lived in different countries, two, three different countries in their little short lives before they even come to the U.S. And I can't imagine what that kind of upheaval does to a family um, and the difficult decisions that they have to make every single day. So. So we take both ends of the spectrum, right? We take the things that are celebratory and we take the things that are challenging and hopefully we find a middle ground between the two. But that's that's what inspires me. And the reminder that we can never stop doing what we do because it's very important and it's very necessary and it makes a difference in people's lives.